Hi guys, welcome to the Daily Tarot for Monday, August 19th, 2019. I'm Jenny Weeks, I'm a psychic medium, and I'm here to share the tarot, which is the overall energy and vibe for the day. If you're hearing this or reading the Daily Tarot, then this pertains to you somehow or someone that you know. Before we begin, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and please, by all means, hit that bell so that you receive notifications every new video I put up, okay? All right, let's go. Ten of Wands is the tarot card for today, Monday the 19th of August. This card is the card for hard work, taking on more responsibility, sometimes too much responsibility. If you take a look at the card, this guy is carrying ten big long sticks or wands, right? He's overloaded. He's bent over because his burden is so much. So you need to remember why you've taken on these responsibilities, first of all, today. Like, what is the purpose? Like, you're gonna, you might ask yourself to Today, why am I doing all this? Right? So at some point you took on these responsibilities or they were given to you for a purpose. What is it? Are you trying to save money? Are you trying to put your kids through college? Are you, um, you know, what are you trying to do? What's the reason? And just keep that in the back of your mind today. Um, sometimes these burdens or these responsibilities can be an overload of too many good things, too many opportunities and choices. And sometimes it boggles our mind, right? It's like maybe too many job offers. Wouldn't that be great? Well, time to lighten the load. Today, release, share some of those responsibilities if you can. Try to lighten the load or try not to accomplish everything. Just do what's the most important today. And you're also going to need to say no today to take on any more tasks or anything else. It's like I feel like the scale will tip if you add one more thing or break the camel's back with that last piece of straw, right? Just don't do anything extra today. You're going to be feeling tired, possibly taken advantage of and you're going to be cranky. Don't be cranky. You're aware of this. You can avoid that, especially if you're, if you're in a budding relationship. You don't want to be cranky, right? And speaking of love and romance, Ten of Wands can represent a high-maintenance relationship, or one of the parties is too focused on work and not enough on the relationship. If you're single, this can mean you're trying to be what you think others expect you to be instead of manifesting what you want and need to be, okay? So don't try to please others. Be yourself and attract your own tribe with your personal vibe. Regarding work, you already know. Today, you may be feeling the weight of too many projects or responsibilities. Work on one at a time and do things the right way the first time, okay? It's better than going back to redo your work you've already done and having your performance suffer. The overall feeling of today is exhaustion, being burned out and under a lot of emotional strain. If you're wondering how someone feels about you, Ten of Wands can mean the person is feeling very responsible and maybe feels solely responsible for the relationship outcome. Whether it's a friendship or romance, they may be feeling all the weight of the success of the relationship on their shoulders. So you put more into the relationship so they don't feel alone in this responsibility, so they don't feel like they're the only ones um, in, the respond in the relationship. A Ten of Wands person is someone with a creative side. So just so you know who you're dealing with, or this could be you, someone with a creative side, someone who's very talented. However, this person is so accountable in both their professional and their personal life, they end up carrying the weight of all the responsibilities on their shoulders. And too many good things can be burdensome. Frequently feeling weighed down and worn out, they truly believe if they just keep going on, someone might see just how much they're doing and offer a helping hand, which we know, unfortunately, rarely happens. They just keep doing and doing and doing, and people watch them, and they tell them they're doing a great job, but they don't lend a hand. Ten of Wands people are the ones that will help everyone, but rarely receive any help themselves. They often blame themselves unnecessarily, and guilt keeps them trapped in all the work and all the worry. These people are people pleasers to their own detriment. So in summary, Ten of Wands, today for August 19th, Monday, this Ten of Wands shows up when it's time to take steps towards your dreams. Ten of Wands, the Ten Wands are currently blinding you they're weighing you down, and you might have lost track of the bigger picture because it's such a big bundle of wood, right? It's a big bundle of wood, a big bundle of sticks. That's all you see. Look back to your childhood. Look at that wonder. What did you want to be when you grew up? You might have to do a complete U-turn, or you might be on your way. I don't know. It might be even what you're currently doing, but it's taken too much of your life. 
So let some of this stuff go and delegate today. Let people do their fair share of the work. Your life will balance out and you'll have much more enjoyment because of it. But go back to your roots and truly remember what it is you wanted to do when you were little. Get back to that. Get back that wonder because life is short. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. So if you're not living your life and enjoying today, you're losing out on on a very precious gift. All right? Ten of Wands. So I will see you tomorrow, and you have a great day. And remember, you can avoid all of this, these feelings now that you know ahead of time. Okay? You can avoid some of this and delegate, relax, enjoy your life.